Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to test out metallic watercolors. Because there's so many different brands, I was really curious about what is actually the difference because even the packaging looks so similar, don't you think? I was really curious about how they perform on black and white paper. Are they worth their price or not? I have different brands such as Mozart, Como Rebi. We also have pearl colors, Coliro with different gold colors and silver, and also Ganzai Tambi, a very popular brand as well. But we also have Schminke Aqua Rich Pale Gold. That is kind of like a powder. Then we also have, I see it everywhere on Amazon, it's the Shimmering Light set with lots of different metallic colors. I'm very curious to find out how they work. And last but not least, we also have gouache. And gouache is kind of like acrylic with watercolors. So I thought, okay, I will just put it in um, to see. Maybe it's even better to get this instead of some other set. So let's check it out. For testing out the paints, I will be using the 100% cotton watercolor paper by Hanemule. The first in the test is the Gansai Tambi Gold Stary Color Set that you can get for about $10 on Amazon. It comes with six different shimmery colors from gold to silver. To activate the colors and to get the most of the paint, I first added a little bit of water into each tray and then let the paint soak it up first so the paint can be activated nicely. This way you make sure that you will be able to load up your brush with as much paint as possible. To be able to see how the paints look on the dark and light background, I glued a strip of black cardboard paper on top of the white watercolor paper. The paint was really pigmented and creamy when I applied it and it was super visible on the black background. I was able to distribute the paint really evenly without almost any streaky lines. The paint also performed really well when I created thin lines and small details such as these little dots. And the paint was able to cover bigger areas without almost any streaky lines. Except for the light gold shade, everything looked really smooth and opaque on the black paper because here you could slightly see the pigments and the black paper shining through the paint. But all the colors look still so shiny and so beautiful. All in all, this set performed really well. Next we have the pearl color set that you can get for about $26 on Amazon. It also comes with six beautiful shades from gold to silver that are shimmery as well. With this set, I repeated the same steps. I first added a little bit of water on top of each color and let the paint soak up the water for a bit. This way it will be easier to activate the paint while being able to load up the brush with as many pigments as possible. Here the paint also felt really creamy and pigmented, but when I applied the paint onto the paper, the result wasn't as opaque as what the Gansai Tambi said in the beginning. The colors looked super shiny as well, but the paint application was rather streaky when it came to covering bigger areas on the paper. Even though on bigger areas it looks rather streaky, if you use this set for thin lines and details, I think it's still really great. To me the color shades look pretty similar to the Gansai Tambi set except that the pearl color paint looks a lot more streaky when it comes to covering up a lot of space. And overall I think these colors are also a little bit shinier compared to the first set which will be more visible later when everything is dry. Next we have the Komorebi watercolor set that you can get for about $10. This set comes with 6 shimmery colors as well but it also has a copper and bronze shade and different shades of gold such as this beautiful rose gold. And you might guess what comes next. Here I first added a little bit of water into each tray to activate the paint. I think mixing paint and looking at the pigments dancing around in close up is so satisfying. It's just so beautiful. Random thought. Would you guys like to see some kind of relaxing videos with only beautiful close-up shots related to art? I think this could be so relaxing and satisfying to watch. Alright, let's move on to testing out this watercolor set. Even though I have never heard about this brand before because everyone only talks about the Gansai Tambi set, I was really surprised how great this watercolor set performed. 
the paint was really creamy, super opaque, and the paint application was not streaky at all. And the black line was covered super evenly as well. Compared to the first two sets, I think this set is as shiny as pearl color, but opaque as Gansai Tambi. So if you want this variety of colors in one, with opaque, shimmery, shininess, is this even a word? Then this set is perfect for you. Next we have the Schminke Aqua Bronze that you can get in different shades for about $20, but it's a lot cheaper in pound and euro. This bottle contains pigments that you can incorporate into your work when mixed in with water or watercolor paint. But I did the mistake that I used way too much water. These pigments already come with powdered glue inside that will hold the pigments on the paper, but if you use too much water, the glue won't be able to do the job. The coverage itself isn't that great, so I think it's better to use this type of pigment to add loose details by mixing it into your watercolors or when you just want to add a little bit of gold colored shimmer to a few areas. And as you can see, because I used way too much water, the glue couldn't hold the pigments and I could just smudge everything. So keep that in mind. Another metallic watercolor paint that I wanted to test out is also by the brand called Schminke. But this time it comes in pens. You can get them in gold and silver from Amazon for about 6 pounds. Now the colors look really shiny and shimmery as well, but the paint application was a little bit more streaky compared to the previous sets that we tested. It covers the black paper nicely, but it's less visible on the white paper. It's slightly less shiny compared to the previous sets, but I still think it's great for creating small details because here it performed really well. Next we have a gouache set for a change because it's also called opaque watercolors and is similar to normal watercolors. I got my set from Amazon for about 13 euro, but you can also find the set on eBay and on other websites for about $13. This gouache set comes already in a more liquid form so you don't have to mix it with water. The only thing you need to do in the beginning is shake the bottle thoroughly. The paint is also really shiny and shimmery and the paint coverage is great. It is pretty opaque and super visible on the black and white background. The silver colors were a little bit less shiny compared to the sets tested earlier, but I think they are still pretty okay. Last but not least, I really wanted to test out this Prima watercolors confection set called Shimmering Lights. It comes with 12 different colors and you get it for about $21. To see how opaque the paint is, I added a thick line using permanent black marker to the chart it came with. Now these watercolors felt a lot more transparent than the rest of the paints we have tested. I felt like regular watercolors were just mixed with a tiny amount of shimmery particles to make the watercolors shimmer a little bit. So all in all, the paint was rather transparent and not opaque at all. Only a few colors covered up the black line, but the rest stayed pretty transparent. I also tested the gold colored paint on an extra sheet of black paper and it looks great because it was one of the only colors that were rather opaque. But if you really want to use bold and shiny colors in your artwork, then I think this set isn't that great for this type of purpose. As you can see, we tested 7 different metallic sets and almost everything looks similar. This is why it comes down to what you want to achieve, what is affordable and available to you. If you just want to create slightly shimmery paintings, the Prima watercolor set could be something for you. But then again, you might as well just get a watercolor medium that makes any color of your choice shimmery. But if you're looking for something super covering, shimmery, super shiny and that works on light and dark backgrounds, then you might look into the Gansai, Koliro, Komorobi and maybe even Sonnet gouache. Some of these companies offer single colors in case you only want one particular single shade of color. I personally like Gansai Tambi because of its color choice and coverage in bigger areas, but for smaller super shiny details, I would also go for Koliro and Komoribi because especially Komoribi was super opaque. Let me know in comments below what was your favorite set of these metallic watercolor sets and if you want to see more test out videos, you can check out the videos right here. Thank you so much for watching guys, have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon. Bye.